The Halloween event is here and we'll be introducing some very nice buildings. It brings the Eerie Thrill Coaster, a very strong building for attack boosts and population, with some decent forge point and good stats to back it up. Completing the quests and playing the minigame should guarantee you this building pretty easily. The abandoned asylum from several Halloween events ago is back from the dead, as it now has silver and gold upgrades that bring massive uplifts to its attack values, as well as granting attack boosts for attacking armies for the quantum incursions. Before we talk about how to win these buildings, how about a giveaway? This video was produced in collaboration with InnoGames, and we are giving away a Joker's Malevolent Spin. This is a 2x5 building with some decent stats, and all you have to do to enter is use the form linked in the description. However, you will need the special code to enter, so keep an eye out for it later in this video. The contest ends a week from the launch of this video, and the winner will be announced via Discord and a YouTube community post shortly after the contest ends. Fitting with the Halloween theme, two minigames are now buried in this event's graveyard, and one from the long past has been dug up, last seen in the 2022 summer event. It's generally more or less a spinny wheel. Press this button to spin the wheel and you can win a prize. Generally, green prizes are low tier, silver mid tier, and gold high tier rewards. Once all instances of an item are won on the wheel, it cannot be won again until the wheel is refreshed by pressing this button. However, there is a twist. The wheel of prizes is shared amongst your entire neighborhood, so anything you do affects them and vice versa. This means other players may win that gold prize before you do. Each spin, with or without the refresh, costs 10 tickets. You can choose to throw 3 or 5 knives instead of just 1, which will speed up your spinning of currency, giving you a higher chance of winning a good reward on the wheel for that throw. However, overall this will net you fewer high tier rewards for the available currency. These high tier gold rewards include many ascended upgrades, the 2024 Epic Halloween Kit, an upgrade for the Knight's Pavilion, and the Golden Selection Kit for the Joker's Spin. The silver rewards include quite a few different boosts for various features, many buildings from the Halloween and Fellowship events, as well as some consumables. The low tier green rewards include small amounts of forge points and goods, units, resources, and some small boosts. Each spin gives you 10 progress towards the grand prizes, but some of the prizes you win will also give you 5 energy blobs. If you land on a prize with these, you get an additional 5 progress. There are three colors of energy blobs, green, blue, and purple, and if you accumulate 10 of each, you can claim energy chests. The first reward box is free, and then they get progressively more expensive until you open 6, at which point you get some fragments of the escutcheon- wait, no, sorry. You get the enchanted elixir's emporium, and the costs reset a bit. You can also buy all the boxes at once for a discounted price. If you want one of the specific rewards and don't care about the emporium for opening all boxes, open the boxes individually. However, if you want the Emporium, open boxes using the discount to save some tickets. Each slot of the rewards has different options that you can receive, but the order you receive those rewards is random. Note that the odds shown here are not the actual values, but merely determined based on a sample of 1,000 sets of boxes taken during the event. The first box contains goods for the Fountain Garden and Pavilion from the History event, the second box contains some of the better buildings from the 2023 Halloween event, as well as the Golden Selection Kit for the Joker Spin and Golden Upgrade for the Arcane Tarot Card Caravans. The third box contains the Level 1 and various upgrades for the Laboratory of Monstrosities. The fourth box contains more buildings from last year, including all but the Level 1 Storm Spire, as well as the Epic 2024 Halloween Selection Kit. The fifth box contains nearly any consumable you may want, but with so many, the odds to get the good ones are quite small. Lastly, the sixth box contains ascended upgrades for the three previous events, limited buildings, and the Epic 2023 Halloween selection kit. It'll take on average 12 spins with refreshes to get enough energy for a full set of boxes, and 200 tickets to open all those boxes, so multiple emporiums will cost around 320 tickets each. If one type of energy is below 10, you can rebalance your energy a bit. However, this does slowly increase in price, resetting daily, so just be aware that you probably don't want to just spam this button. Speaking of spamming a button, there's really not a strategy to this event. For the most part, just spam the refresh and spin button until you're out of tickets. You need to reach 2100 progress for the main building, and with the currency from the questline, this should be achievable entirely for free. Getting to 2600 progress where the golden upgrade for the asylum lies may be a little bit less certain. 
refreshing and spinning with each throw, you'd need to gain nearly 250 extra tickets from incidents or the mini challenges to on average be able to reach that goal, and that includes you not opening any energy chests. I would recommend waiting to open any chests until the end of the event, as you'll be able to see where you're at in terms of progress and have a better estimate of how many tickets you have available to spend. If you want to focus entirely on the Emporiums, the reward for opening all six chests in the set, and forgo the Thrill Coaster and Asylum upgrades, save tickets for mini challenge days, and complete much of the quest line. This will give you a large amount of energy drinks, which will make opening boxes easier. With a bit of luck, you should be able to walk away with 5-6 to six Emporiums, if not more. If you find any of the prizes on the wheel particularly desirable, you can also be a little bit strategic. Save your tickets until someone in your neighborhood refreshes the wheel and that prize shows up. Then, spin with 5 knives to try and get that prize before someone else does. Once you win it, lay in wait until that prize appears again. Also, for what it's worth, if the animation is on, you can choose when to throw the knives. This will not... I repeat, will not affect which rewards you receive. That is why the code for this event's giveaway is just RNG, J U S T R N G, with no spaces. If you want the most progress possible, it is best that you refresh the wheel with each throw and only throw one knife at a time. The reason is that the energy rewards give you five progress when landing on them, and if you throw multiple knives, there's a chance that you re land on ones where the energy was already won. If you're willing to invest more time, you can only throw knives when players in your neighborhood have taken some rings without energy, but the effectiveness of that strategy depends on how much time you have to babysit the event and whether players in your neighborhood are active enough. There are daily tasks in this event that ask you to do things like spin the wheel or open so many chests. If you can complete these easily, they are good things to go for. You can pick up extra energy or tickets. It's hard to give a strategy for these, but generally I would try to complete the ones that give tickets as rewards if you can, as they'll push you further in terms of progress, especially if you're hoping to gain the Asylum's Golden Upgrade. This event will bring the standard two mini-challenges, and I've linked the spreadsheet with the quests below from beta, it'll be updated once they start on live servers. As per usual, these will run starting on the second Tuesday of the event. These challenges are very expensive to complete, with my estimates being over 1,000 net tickets each, and you only get about 1,850 tickets from the quest line. The rewards are somewhat mediocre, with the highlights being a Nightshade Cemetery, Yaga's Roost, two Enchanted Elixir Emporiums, and the Uncommon Alexander ally with a 90% attack boost. However, these rewards are spread across both mini-challenges. You will get quite a lot of energy so can open more energy chests, but beyond that there's nothing too compelling. If you're hoping to get lucky and pick up that golden upgrade for the Asylum, I'd recommend saving your tickets for the challenges and completing through quest 18 of both just to get those extra tickets. If your goal in this event is getting the Emporiums or you want to just get an extra one, completing the first mini challenge should be easy enough if you save all your currency. Moving on to the leagues, they may look tasty with the finish all special productions item in the Silver League, but be careful. While the leagues and events are always influenced by spending, this events will be amplified. With it so easy to purchase more tickets and instantly gain more progress, all a player must do to place in Gold League is alternate spamming the buy tickets and refresh and throw buttons. That means that the last day league jumps may be absolutely massive. So just keep that in mind. Regardless of whether you spend or not, this should be a pretty low-stress event. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Consider joining my Discord server, linked below to discuss the event and the game at large. And as always, I'll see you all next time.